Holistic health encompasses a little bit more than physical health. The concept of mind, body, soul, I wish my dear friend is here, Vipula. Vipula does a lot of meditation. So this concept of holistic health is we all today uh, as executives, uh, as managers, we all stick to these figures because in the boardrooms, in your planning, it's all numbers. We want to grow by this much, my sales must increase by this much, my target is this much. So because of our familiarity with these numbers, we like to associate our life also with numbers. So that means we must be this height, this weight, this, that, all this, uh, which is what we are associated with. So we need to have A, B, C cholesterol levels or whatever. From our point of view, doctor mentioned at the end, you must have a positive attitude. Can you measure that? You cannot measure. How did uh, thousand years ago people figure out that you had diabetes? In Ayurvedic science, there are 17 varieties of diabetes. How did they figure that out? Easy things. If you urinate and ants come to your urine, they knew that. If you had to urinate three or four times at night, if you are thirsty, these were practical things. So, the concept of these things were there. People had stress. People didn't put a word all stress. When I used to tell my father, yeah, it's really stressful, he said, what? Stress? You have stress? He says, I, I don't have stress. I don't know what you mean by stress. So when he spoke to me about six months ago, I told him exactly what my father said. So this Dinacharya starts what time should you wake up? What should you do in the morning? What should you drink in the morning? What should you eat in the morning? What time should you uh, go to work? All these things are in detail. That was written about not yesterday, 100 years ago, about three, 4,000 years ago. In the famous text of Charaka, Samhita, these are uh, Shushruta, these were written 3,000, 4,000 years ago in India. There were similar texts written in Sri Lanka during uh, King Buddha Dasa's time. Various other kings have written texts on how one should have a proper Dinacharya. So, just to go through little details of what a Dinacharya should be. Then the next thing, you need to rejuvenate your system. Because when you get up in the morning, naturally, your body has gone through a process of cleansing. How does it do that? Your mind go, going through the REM state of going through all the activities that you had done throughout the day and cleanses the things that you don't want. When you go into deep sea, that happens. So you retain only what you want to. So you may dream about things, whatever, but it's a natural process. So you know exactly what you want to do. But, so your body is in a very relaxed state. So if traditionally, maybe having a glass of water is what is recommended. The full glass, so not 10 milliliters or 20 milliliters. You mean they say in the old text, the bottle bottle can be defined as 750 milliliters or a liter or a sizable glass of water.